Hola mis amores, welcome back to my channel. I came here into the sun to be extra. I was originally gonna name this video the get like a uh, natural makeup, no makeup, updated no makeup makeup, right? But then I realized like I have acne. Every time I wanna do a really natural, no coverage, like minimal makeup, I always remember I can't because I have shit on my face that I need to cover. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure people out there could probably relate. So I'm going to show you how I do acne coverage makeup basically. But still keeping it like as minimal as possible. And my first ever video on YouTube was I think a, a no makeup makeup. It was right here in my room. And I was wearing this shirt. So I wanted to be corny and like do it again because that video was really bad like the shaking of the camera was just mortifying hi guys welcome to my channel my name is jasmine and today what am i doing i want to show you how i do like a no makeup makeup look it was bad yeah so we're gonna try again but this time we're actually gonna do no makeup makeup and acne coverage and all of that so let's get on with the video so as always i'm gonna start with a mattifying primer this one is by fenty beauty then i do my eyebrows i do them super simple so i'll be back i'm using the benefit precisely my brow pencil in the shade 3.5 okay one eyebrow done this one is not you see we're keeping it natural in this bitch. I don't like doing too much. I'm going to show you how I do one of them. I make a really faint line under the front of my brow, like an outline. And then I apply more pressure towards the end of my brow. Again, I lightly, like barely putting any pressure, I fill up from that little line. Then I take the spoolie part. And blend it all together natural okay now comes the acne part this really is the kind of makeup that will have people asking like are you actually wearing makeup or not so if you have really really bad acne like how i used to have like red skin red like crazy you could start by using a color corrector which is usually green to cancel out any redness on your face um, use that first because anything you put on top of really really red skin has to be high coverage and cakey as hell to cover it okay so if you want to keep your makeup light you got to use the color corrector to get rid of all the redness i am at a point with my skin where i can use a color corrector if i want to but i don't have to so i'm not gonna so the first thing that I do, because I have spots on my face that are like worse than others and I want to cover them, I use a concealer, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. You know how concealer has to be lighter than your skin? This is not lighter than my skin. This is like the same exact color of my skin. And the reason why I do that is because I want that extra coverage only on these certain spots. I do have a concealer that is lighter than me, obviously, so I could brighten my under eyes and stuff. But I recommend if you have acne to get a concealer that is your same exact skin color so that you could get that extra coverage wherever you need it because we we need it you know what i mean then i take a wet beauty blender and blend out the concealer another trick if you have acne obviously acne is like bumpy on your skin you know it's not smooth so if you have a really big bump when you're blending concealer out on it or a foundation or anything don't blend it directly on the bump blend it like around the bump you get it so that it stays covered because if you just blend it on top like it's just gonna stick out again i don't know how to explain i really hope that makes sense hmm i hate acne okay after blending it this is the part where it really all depends on you so if you have really terrible terrible acne and you want to cover your whole entire face you could put foundation on at this point a natural foundation though like the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation which is like medium coverage and super natural it has such a natural finish or the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, which is a tint that I love using. Or one of my new favorites, the Laura Mercier. It's a tinted moisturizer, so it's so natural looking on the skin. It has SPF and all that. Like, it's beautiful. But if you're happy with how your skin looks, 
like me right now. I'm not gonna put foundation on. Oh, and another tip for anyone who has acne, uh, you should look into one of these by e.l.f. I have two of them. These are skin boosters. They're basically uh, little drops that you could put on your face or mix with your foundation. This one right here is a clarifying, is the clarifying one. So it has like tea tree oil and something else, I think, which is good for acne. And I also have another one that has niacinamide. So it's like it adds like ingredients in your makeup to help you with your acne while you wear your makeup you know so they're really cool they're by elf check them out but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and conceal under my eyes with the neutrogena hydro boost concealer which is probably the most natural concealer i've ever used in my whole life wow and then for contour i'm gonna use the kkw beauty contour stick by the way, this product, um, I'm not even gonna lie, it's kind of trash. Like, you can use so much of this, and it's all gonna go away in one swipe. I still use it, though, because of how natural it does look, but you have to use a lot of it. Like, you know, like a lot. So it might seem like I'm beasting right now, but I promise it's gonna go away in, like, two seconds. So I use the light side first, and then I use the dark side to, like, add more definition. And then with the Wet Beauty Blender blend everything okay do you see how the kkw contour is like is gone okay i don't know if the sun is setting or what but like i gotta hurry up so the powder that i'm gonna use is the charlotte tilbury powder you can use any setting powder but i'm gonna recommend to you guys to use the by terry hyaluronic hydra powder oh my god this is a setting powder that is infused with hyaluronic acid and i've never gotten a more smooth natural finish with a powder in my whole life it is kind of expensive but i think it's worth it the only reason i'm not going to use that one is because it does tend to make my skin uh kind of oily but that's because i already have very oily skin feel me if you don't though that powder is going to be literally perfect for you i'm not going to bake because I don't want this to look cakey or nothing. So I'm just going to put it around. And fluff it off right away. And you can't forget about underneath the contour. Because it tends to look messy. You can leave the contour like this. Or you could set it like me. I'm about to set it. With the Too Faced bronzer. And then I'm also going to use blush. Blush is such a cute way to make your makeup look natural. Like it makes you look like you're actually like... Like you're blushing, you know, it's so cute. So I'm going to use my favorite, of course, the Kylie Cosmetics. Oh, wow. It looks like it says Katie. The Kylie Cosmetics Winter Kissed Blush. Another thing that makes your makeup look super natural is if you use blush on more places, not just your cheeks. So I like using it on my nose to make me look like a button or some shit. On my forehead, my chin. I'm telling you, I use blush everywhere it makes you look so natural so natural i swear okay next highlight i love the fenty beauty highlights because they have two sides one that is more natural and the other that is like more out there so i use the natural side and just put that on my cheekbones another trick don't put highlight on your acne wherever your acne is at don't put highlight there because whatever you put highlight on is gonna stand out and so if you put it on your acne it's gonna make the bump stand out it's just it's not that cute just don't do it you know what i mean and i put that on my brow bone because i love brow bone highlight i can't live without it that's one of the things that i just i'm never not gonna do by the way this is um mean money and hustler baby this is my all-time favorite highlight but anyways, I take the natural one and I put it on my inner corner. And then I'll put on some lip gloss and I'm literally done. I know what you're thinking. No eyes? No eyes. This is a natural makeup. If I was going to do my eyes though, I would honestly probably use bronzer as eyeshadow. Nothing crazy. Or highlight on my eyelids. Nothing crazy. And then mascara. And then that's it. I'll see you guys when I'm dressed.
So to set my barely any makeup, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Okay, so I used the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Diva. But that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this one, give it a thumbs up. If you try this out at home or if you have acne and any makeup tips that you wanna share, please comment down below or DM me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram on the screen. Um, tag me if you try this look. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.